Hello learners, welcome to this edition of knowing how to deal with clients and knowing your client better. In this session, we'll be talking about the entire experience of a reading a client, understanding what is the meaning of a client and how can clients be acquired and understood, especially in a business uh, of event management where uh, there is no physical exchange of any product or any uh, structured uh, form of uh, you know, delivery. And this becomes critical where uh, the spoken word between a client and an agency plays a pivotal role in a delivery of a service which is rendered by the event agency to a client and accepted in all norms by the client, which eventually uh, results in remuneration being paid to the agency. So often the stumbling block between a client and agency is the very first step, which is where, uh, how do you get to know your client and how do you work with the client? Uh, how do you understand his needs? Becomes a paramount understanding, which then builds into a relationship, which is profitable, uh, which is uh, result oriented, and which delivers the objectives that the client set out in the first place uh, to execute the event. So uh, let's dive deep into this session and talk about uh, what it is to a uh, know a client, understand a client's needs, and how those needs can be converted uh, into a business opportunity for agencies. So uh, let's speak more about uh, knowing a client better. So getting to know your client better is the subject for our discussion in this session. My name is Jatin Rajput. I am the co-founder of Consumer Links, which is a 25 year old uh, event management and special experiences agency. I'm also the head of department at the Whistling Woods International School of Event Management in Mumbai, India. So our agenda for today is who is a client? What is the client's perspective? How does a client come to you with a need or an express desire for business? How do you take an event brief? Uh, how do you structure a formula which strikes a balance in understanding every aspect that could possibly impact your event and therefore your clients express needs and therefore the final delivery of the product or the service that you're going to render. Writing a creative brief or a technical brief, uh, creating the perfect match uh, between client expectations, agency delivery, and eventually uh, marrying the objectives of what the client set out to, to execute the event with the expectations of the audience or the spectators or the stakeholders or the customers who would come and witness this event. So what constitutes a great uh, brief and therefore what constitutes a client? A client could be a person with a need for communication. Let me correct you here, focused communication. Well, there are many forms of communication available in the market, uh, which could be in the form of conventional advertising, print, radio, television, out of home, and so on and so forth. Uh, the need to target a customer with a dedicated and focused kind of communication is what events uh, actually delivers. So A, it is scalable, it is measurable, it is uh, to a focus group, it reaches out to a specific audience, it kind of connects with the people in, in a specific way, and it enables the client or the, the, the our, our customer, in the case of the agency, to actually communicate uh, his objectives in a very refined way to a set of people who are the core believers or expect to be the core believers of what he's trying to sell to them. So this enablement uh, of focus communication is what is events is all about. 
and it is events are designed for people who are looking at focus communication to tell their customers or tell their stakeholders or tell their buyers that this is me this is how i want to come across to you and these are the services or products i offer to you and therefore can we connect and can you buy into my idea or my vision or my thought a client is a seller of products so it could be cars it could be phones it could be pencils it could be erasers it could be anything on the sun so uh, products are physical uh, devices that you buy whether it's uh, a food product whether it's a utility product whether it's a daily need product whether it's a white good segment whether it's a fmcg product whether it's groceries whether it's uh, so anything that is physically consumed by you in any form is a product which a brand or a service provider or a manufacturer or uh, a, a shopkeeper is selling uh, and he wants to communicate to his consumers and connect with them and tell them that hey this is me and this is what i manufacture or i or i sell and uh, i have an interesting idea to tell you about this product and how it will benefit your life and can you buy into that idea so that whole process of storytelling about the product and convincing uh, the buyer to buy into that product is what event management is all about a service provider so today's uh, business is all about you know customer integration and customer service so a lot of physical product manufacturers are also outreaching and providing after sales service so uh, many times you know you have a large grocery chain sending you an email and asking you how did you like our service how did you like our product how was the shopping experience when you came to our grocery store uh, so today it, a service provider is more extended in terms of ideology but if i look at it in the true sense then a service provider is someone who provides a service so it could be your local barber it could be uh, your local uh, uh, mobile telephone service provider it could be an airline company it could be a hotel it could be a restaurant so anyone who offers not a physical product but a service that is rendered which makes you feel good you know uh, is what uh, a service provider is classified so again uh, when i look at constitutes of clients it could be sellers of products service providers someone who needs focus communication an evangelist who wants to impress his idea so here again uh, we're talking about someone who has a vision so it could be a visionary it could be an educator it could be uh, someone who's trying to outreach his ideas and ideologies and create a community so it could be a poet who wants to go out there uh, an artist who wants to express his uh, performance by you know connecting with his fans his, his lovers of music or his his performing arts a theater artist and actor uh, so anybody in in the business of conveying an idea okay to a group of people and communicating his idea and buying their uh, their time and buying their belief in his idea is an evangelist and this evangelist could be a performer could be a public speaker could be a preacher could be uh, you know anybody who is trying to sell concepts uh, or ideas to people so uh, this again is a potential client a politician so i've used the term politician primarily because uh, it will be easier for you to understand the example that i'm trying to give you here anyone who tries to influence people so today uh, there are many people on the social media who are influencers okay so uh, these could also be people who garner public support uh, however a politician is specifically looking at public support because that is what brings him into office that is what brings him into business of uh, trying to in create uh, social change or trying to bring about uh, betterment of society which is his own vision his own agenda uh, uh, as a part of his his service platform so uh, like a politician any influencer if i would call it in a broad sense is someone who is trying to garner public support and he could be a potential client any individual who simply wants to celebrate his dreams um, and he wants to turn them into a reality so uh, this individual is someone who is wanting to get married or wants to celebrate his child's birthday or wants to celebrate his own birthday or wants to 
uh, celebrate a moment, a momentary occasion in his life, which is special to him. And it's his belief and his idea that by doing the celebration, he would be able to impress upon the people that are connected to his life, to his family, uh, to his society, uh, to his community. Uh, he wants to engage with them, you know, and, and express his joy, his sorrow, his grief, his thoughts, his ideas, and tries to bring them together in that moment uh, of his and connect with them. So again, uh, uh, when you look at social celebrations today, uh, the person that is trying to communicate is trying to communicate his inner emotion to an audience or to people. And that is what, again, becomes a, a client. So uh, if you talk about the client's perspective, now, when clients come to agencies, they could have very well done this themselves. Uh, long, long ago, when event agencies were not into play, uh, many a times client would do this himself. But it was brick and mortar. It was uh, not organized. It was not thought into because while uh, the event manager is a specialist, he does this for a living and he understands the process. For many a clients, it is a first time. It is a time that where they've come up with an idea, they've come up with a belief, they've come up with a concept, they've come up with a product and they say that now I'm going to outreach this to my uh, end user. So how do I go the distance? He may have seen certain things somewhere and he may try to replicate them. But then uh, getting into the finer detail, getting into the uh, process, getting into the understanding of the steps that would be taken to execute that idea and deliver the experience to an end user is still a, 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 you know, not a very clear vision. And therefore clients today are looking at the event manager to come forth and actually share his experience and deliver uh, the steps that would enable a, a great communication, a great experience. So again, uh, if you look at going to a doctor and you know, seeking medical advice, or going to a lawyer and seeking legal advice, there are steps that a doctor would follow up. So he would first do a diagnosis. Okay, he would understand your malady, understand the symptoms, understand what you're going through. So while everybody says I've got a common cold, uh, it could be different for different people, uh, depending on their symptoms. So like that, an event manager first understands the problem uh, of the client. And then he puts in his advice and tells, tells steps that would be enabled to reduce that problem and come up with a solution. So the doctor would then obviously give you medicines or he would ask you to do some tests and then he would advise some medicines and then he would follow up with the doctor and say, I'm feeling better or I'm feeling worse. And then he would further prescribe a course of study or medicines or further prescribe some more tests to diagnose the problem. And then you finally become better. So same way uh, in events, we follow a step-by-step -step process and that is how you get to know a client better. And once you understand the steps and once you understand the process, it's going to be a much easier delivery mechanism, uh, you know, in terms of delivering the end uh, result to a client. And that would lead to a successful event and that would lead to a repeat buying to your agency. Remember in our business, it's very difficult to go out there and constantly seek business with new clients. So often the challenge for us is that, uh, how can we retain businesses? How can we create uh, influencers or uh, endorsers who would actually talk about us as an agency and say, hey, I work with this person and I think he understands the problem better. He understands events better. He understands the executing uh, method better. He is a sound consultant. Uh, he delivers solutions much more efficiently and therefore you should work with him. So that becomes uh, a repeat business. So while conventionally I would work with a corporate client in, our, in the agency that I, that I run uh, and the client would keep buying into me and keep coming back to me because I'm able to provide him solutions every single time that result in successes. Uh, but in the case of social celebrations, I won't get married every single day. So if I get married once and I've had a successful event, I would probably recommend you in my family. So it could be cousins, it could be uncles, aunties, and whoever is having a social celebration. And if I then further choose to have a, a birthday party or you know a, a, a child birth in my family, I would probably then invite you. I would then invite you for my child's first birthday and probably his future birthdays. And probably if things work well, I would probably invite you for my child's wedding too. 
so that's how relationships are built, you know, in, in the in the social circuit. But again, it also works as word of mouth, where people see uh, a particular event in the social circle and they invite or ask the agency to come back saying, we liked your work in so-and-so wedding. So can you come back and do something for us? And that is how uh, clients see you. So what does a client need? A client needs a solution to his problem. So he'll come back to you and say, hey, I have a problem. And can you help me find a way to execute and reach out to my end user and give him a particular type of experience, which I'm seeing as a solution. I have never done this before, or uh, I've done this, but uh, not this way before. So every client, whether it's the first event or his repeat events is looking at something unique to come out of it. His, his problem is always going to be distinct. So it's not a cut paste job where there is a common solution to every malady. Every event is a different parameter. Every event has a different dynamic structure. Every event has a different method of execution. Every client, remember, is a human being and every human being thinks differently. So when we are working on events, we are working with people. We are a people's business. So when we are communicating with people, whether it be clients, whether it be our vendor partners, whether it be our stakeholders, whether it be our own teams, we are dealing with people. And when we're dealing with these people, we are trying to create solutions which will lead to better enablement. So when a client comes to me and he asks me saying, I have never done this. I say, relax, let me know what is your, what you want to do. And let me come back to you with a solution that is different from what you did last time. So most clients are looking at you from saying, I want to do a seamless, effortless, hassle-free experience. I want to deliver my thought to my audience in a very beautiful manner. I want them to enjoy uh, this whole thing that I'm trying to put up for them. I want them to believe in what I'm trying to convey to them. I want them to buy into my idea, buy into my thought, buy into my product in the most conducive environment. And they should feel extremely pleased to be with me. And if they are happy with me in those uh, moments that they share with me, whether it's 15 minutes, half an hour, 90 minutes, three hours or whatever, I'm sure they will accept me and they will come back to me. If not today, maybe tomorrow, because they will remember me for this experience. So that is what a client is looking at every single time he's doing an event. It doesn't matter what is the scale. It doesn't matter what type of event it is, but every client is looking at this kind of solution when he's coming to you for an event. Given the price, given the people, given the production value, given the purpose, what can you achieve for me? So every client is going to say, I have a budget. I need to reach out to X number of people, whether it is a one-on-one, -on -one, one to many or one to million. I want it at a particular production value. I want it to look like this. I want it to be at this scale. I want it to be in this format. I want it to, you know, have this kind of finesse or texture or quality or result. Uh, I have a purpose. You know, I want to do this because this is what I want to achieve at the end of the day. What can you do in this process to meet the price, meet the people, build the value of production, and of course, meet my purpose. So that is his perspective. How well do you understand me? How well do you read me as a client? How well do you read my customers? How well do you understand them? How well can you communicate with them? How can you marry us together? This is what a client is looking at. If you have this formula right, you've got a win on your hand. So every time you're connecting with a client, remember, this is the farman, this is the formula. This is typically a, a, a template that every client is looking at. So if you've checked every one of these bullet points that you see on the slide, I think you've reached the uh, end, end goal that a client will believe and say, yes, there is a buying. Yes, I have someone who understands my needs. And yes, I can work with this person. So let's move forward and understand how, what are the steps that are taken uh, to get to know a client better. The first step is a brief, okay? 
uh, it is one of the most fundamental and most crucial steps of making a great event. Often, uh, 99 times out of 100, an event fails because both the client as well as the agency didn't get the brief right. So taking a brief and giving one, okay, is an art. You need to understand the formula. You need to understand the process. You need to understand the steps and you need to make sure that you implement those steps in the structure that they are laid out every single time. So what we're going to discuss in the session uh, and the session to follow is the steps that you need to take to know a client better. And it starts with the brief. So I'm going to spend more time talking about how to take a brief because that is a fundamental learning which will enable you every single time to deliver a successful event to a client. So if, if getting to know the client is a necessity, then this is the actual process which will enable to get to know a client. And whatever you do with that client afterwards, whether it's in the form of implementation, in the form of idea execution, in the form of production, it's all like a domino effect. So if you get this step right, the rest of it is all going to fall into place most brilliantly and most effectively uh, and enable you to deliver the solution for your client absolutely seamlessly. So it is the backbone of the event making process. So every single time uh, you're looking at, you know, connecting with a client and actually getting a client to buy into you, remember the brief is the first step to success. So if you're not doing the brief right, if you're not following the formula correctly, chances are you're going to fail uh, many a times. And failure is not an option for us because most of the time you get one hit with a client. So if you're going to meet someone or, you know, get connected to a client, he's going to start sizing you up and evaluating you on the first instant. He's going to understand the depth of how you understand or read events. He's going to try and understand your expertise and understanding what he is and who he is and what he wants to do. He's going to also read uh, and understand from you how well do you understand the problem and what kind of instantaneous solutions you could come up with, which are basic hygiene that is required to deliver a concept or an event. So you may not go and meet a client and share an idea on the spot. If you can do that, it's brilliant. But getting to read him, asking him the right questions, understanding the problem, uh, delivering him the solutions and explaining to him the process that would be required to take his problem and convert it to a solution is something that is reassuring. And if you do that successfully in the first meeting, it will enable him to call you again and say, hey, please come back to me with a proposal and I would like to evaluate it. I would like to understand it and then move forward with it. So that is how uh, a brief is critical for the success of an event. So the most crucial step in making of a great event it is often considered the primary stumbling block. Most agencies, as I said, get it wrong in the first time. So if you, if you want to be successful, you need to get your brief correct. A client is going to judge you uh, by the ability of how well you understand and comprehend his brief and how well do you use that brief to create a story, create a concept, create a structure and come back with a successful event plan. Um, a client is also going to take you on, on this by saying that, how well do you take a brief? So taking a brief requires elementary knowledge, understanding the brand. So if you're an agency, you would want to understand what your client is all about. And if you're a client, you need to understand who are you and what are you trying to do with a service provider or an event agency and how do you employ an event agency and use them to deliver what you're trying to convey to your consumers? So often understanding your own brand and being the, uh, enabled to probe and uh, also explain in a systematic manner uh, what is the process uh, is a requirement that is required both from the client side and the agency side. So probing a client in a systematic manner understanding his requirements, going step by step and putting it into perspective is what will enable you to deliver successful events. Remember, working with clients uh, means patience, 
means being logical. Uh, so you would not commit or bind to an idea which cannot be practically implemented. So if I want a UFO to land on the stage, it doesn't happen any which ways because a UFO doesn't exist. So uh, being logical in what can be done and can't be done within the limitations of price, production value, people, and you know the purpose uh, is an essential that you need to figure out. Also need to figure out and understand is how well you comprehend the client's needs. Uh, how well are you accustomed to jargon? So if a client throws at you something like, you know, uh, OTT, okay? So what is OTT? OTT is over the top, okay? Or, or OTT is, is a platform today that is used uh, besides, uh, you know, the conventional television. So understanding jargon, understanding uh, what the client is trying to speak in terms of uh, his brief is very important as a part of comprehension. So if you don't understand, please ask and say, hey, I didn't understand this. Can you explain this? Because I'm not from your brand. I'm not from your product category. I don't understand your industry so well because I don't, I'm not into manufacturing. Uh, can you explain this so I can you know, probably provide you a better solution? Uh, sense of reasoning. So reasoning out to the client is very important because then you can actually put logic to the idea and you can also explain your challenges in executing an event. So uh, being practical and being reasonable to say that these are the limitations uh, and not over committing and then under delivering is again something that will hold you in good stead with the client. So uh, these are the key buzzwords that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to get uh, a client to buy into you. So knowing a client and understanding and taking a perfect brief requires patient, logic, uh, comprehension and a sense of reasoning. So every invention starts with a brief whether it's a car. So any car, and there are made plenty of cars that you would know and have seen on the roads today. Each model is different. Each model has unique features, whether it's driving comfort, whether it is speed, whether it is fuelage capacity, whether it is mileage. So when you buy a car or a discerning customer goes to buy a car, he is looking at a certain set of values that he believes in. So I may go and buy a car, which gives me good average for the fuel consumption. I may buy a car because I like speed. I may buy a car because I want to drive long and I need driving comfort. So uh, the design of the car starts with a brief. What are you designing for? Or whom are you designing for? Or how will that customer get enabled to buy into the product? That is a brief. So a car starts with a design and, the, and for the design, you need a brief. A building, a house, a house could be multiple rooms like a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, a study room, and so on and so forth. So uh, what is the blueprint of a building? A building could be multi-story, it could just be a bungalow, you know. So every, every house has a need and the customer expresses a need. So he would want a certain space that is uh, spacious or he, want, he would want something that is, fits within his budget, uh, which will enable him to live comfortably uh, but we'll still have basic amenities, you know, so that again is the blueprint. So the blueprint of a building, uh, which is a design of the building, enables you to understand and say, this is how eventually the construction will come up. And that is what will be the final product, which I buy into as far as housing is concerned. A movie. So any movie starts with a screenplay, scene by scene, how the movie will run, dialogues, uh, visuals, expression, artists, talent, uh, the back-end talent and so on and so forth. And that is what will make the movie. And what kind of audience am I catering to? So am I catering to the masses who loves a pot boiler, which will want the names, the actors, the, the, the performers, and you know, they would like to see the glamour on the screen. Or am I talking to a niche audience, which is looking at a subject driven uh, concept and you know, they want to get enabled and talk and understand how it works. So for every single product, service, or uh, uh, concept, okay? There is a brief, there is a uh, start point, there is a storytelling. And that storytelling is what starts with a brief. So with this, we come to an end of the session, but we will see you again in the next session where we will talk about how to learn and take a brief and what are the key highlights of uh, and the process of going into a systematic structure of taking and giving a brief. So thank you so much for joining in and I look forward to seeing you again. God bless and see you soon.